By request, here's a review of Chalet OS 16.04. So I thought this was going to be another Linux distro where someone has thrown together a theme and put a couple of programs on it and calling it their own operating system. whoop de doo Let's go back to using a more popular Linux distro. Okay. They've done a little bit more to the system, so it's aimed more at helping new users from Windows, I would say, and I'm basing my opinion on that from the theming that they've done. Now, contrary to what they say on the Grub boot menu, it is not based on Debian. It is based on Ubuntu 16.04, or possibly more likely Zubuntu, because it has the XFCE desktop. The unique features that they've provided is a new start screen. For this one, they've put a lot of YouTube tutorials together and linked to them from this start screen, as well as providing a list of software that you can have for the system. And they've linked quite a few YouTube tutorials there as well. And they've also provided a style changer, not just for the applications and icon theming, but for the Conky scripts as well, which they've provided quite a lot of there. As far as the number of applications go, there aren't a huge amount on the system. So there is scope for you to make the system your own, really, as long as you don't mind a Windows theme which I do. I hate the Windows theme. I want something different. So we'll start with the start point. Seems a good place to start, doesn't it? There's quite a variety of how-tos and YouTube tutorials they've provided. That is a good thing to see. It helps new users get used to the system because while it may look like Windows, it is not Windows. It is a completely different system. Playing with simple composite. Okay. Uh, this is a virtual box issue where the sound is muted beyond belief, but okay, let's enlarge it and see what we can do. Windows Manager, Window Manager Tweaks, uh, yeah, okay. All fairly self-explanatory. I wonder if they made a video reviewing the system for me. Ah, that would save me some jobs, wouldn't it? I could put my feet up or go and clean my bathroom, which really should be done by now. Um, oh, what are they recommended? Cody, yeah, reasonable. Lightworks? I don't think the average user's really going to be doing video editing. Okay, showcases more advanced applications for the system though. A couple of music players. All I can see on that list is more advanced applications. Ah, but it does seem we've landed straight in the multimedia tab, doesn't it? There are more tabs up here on the top right hand side. Okay, so a variety of office suites. Yes, there are. Um, what's happened here? Okay, the list goes down too far and is not populated fully. I was going to pick something from this list. Better not take Gwenview, that'll drag in loads of plasma dependencies. Inkscape. Dark table. Let's try dark table. What are we doing? Oh, okay, you're taking me across the website. Okay, that's not exactly going to be an easy install, is it? Oh, link to uh, Infinity Galactic's video, have we? I wonder if any of my videos are linked here. I've taken a look through the list and can't see any of my videos, so... Yeah. Sod that then, I'm out of here. Okay, I'll continue. Because I'm generous. The Style Changer. So what I notice on this list here is that Every theme is a window style. You've got different colours, you've got the Windows 7 and Windows 8 style themes, but they're all window styled. Well, I dislike that intensely. I don't want it, my system to look like Windows. Got a variety of conky scripts included. We could have the CPU and RAM usage instead of a clock. Or there is a conky script with them all on there. I think, I can't remember which one it was now. I was having a good look through yesterday. Oh look, there's one. Yeah, boom, I've applied it. Meh, okay. Didn't sharp straight away. I know there is a warning that not all of them sharp straight away, so I'll 
they have said that there's an issue. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt on that, though. All right. Well, that's worked. Opening up the system settings, what have they provided that's over and above a standard system, then? Because this is just the equivalent of Zubin 2.16.04, now I'm aware I didn't do a formal review of Zubin 2.16.04. I did a, a first time look some time back. Um, I don't know, I never found Zubin 2 to be the most popular, hence I never did the review of it. I don't know, maybe I'm just being lazy. So what have I opened? A script that's doing one-click maintenance. What's Cleaner do? Is this Bleach Bit or something? Uh, oh yes, it is. Huh. Should have just read the title, really, shouldn't I? That would have told me. We've got Wine pre-installed, so that make it a bit easier to install Windows applications on the system. So we'll take a look at the applications. So considering they've built this more for new users, what have they provided a new user? Most of what you need there for accessories. I think there's a couple of extras that you wouldn't normally see. 2048 was a browser game. We've got Solitaire. Graphics. Well, there's nothing too much on here. Got GIMP image editor. Internet. So I've got Firefox for the web browser. A couple of extra programs here. Great little radio player and online video downloader. So that's the online video downloader for YouTube. Multimedia. So you've got Audacious for the music player and VLC for the video player. Office. Nothing. What? No Office application at all? I know there was a list in the start point. Well, you've got LibreOffice for a choice on there, or you've got WPS Office. Or if you've got a more lightweight system, you could use Abbey Word and Genumeric. Settings. Um, it's quite a long list. Possibly a bit more than you necessarily need, but okay, it's enough to do the job with. System. So, Task Manager. How are we doing? 12% of 4 gig of RAM. So that was a look at Shally OS. Now, have they achieved the goal of making a good system for new users? In a way, yes. New users from Windows. If you're a new user from Mac, hmm, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe this distro wouldn't quite be for you because you can have better Mac-themed distros than this. Uh, I can see they've thrown together a lot of what you might like for the system, but they've left it simple enough with the number of applications on there that you can actually make the system yourself. You don't have to go uninstalling surplus applications. So I think they've done a nice balance. Bit of a surprise they didn't install an Office application, but well, okay, you can choose your own there. They've made it clear enough on the start page. So no real criticism there. I would say a pretty good effort from the team there. Oh. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.